peaceful. Yes, Sam, I saw it. That's why it's an emergency Gormzy stream. You guys know of the le the legendary, the absolutely fantastic grilled cheese that Chef Gormzy himself crafted with his own two hands. We all love grilled cheese. The silly quiet, peaceful, really, really peaceful, incredible, and peaceful. We all love grilled cheese. The silly quiet, peaceful, especially when you have the ultimate grilled cheese, a Ramon with Everberry and Asiago. Peaceful. With this is a dream come true. Cut big knob, slice it with these nice mini bricks of cheese. We all love grilled cheese. The silly quiet, peaceful, really, really peaceful, incredible, and peaceful. We all love grilled cheese. The silly quiet, peaceful. The secret behind grilled cheese is a little bit of kimchi. Oh my god. That sandwich that sits in his hands right now as he looks down at us from the gates of heaven. That depressed looking sandwich that looks like it doesn't even look like there's cheese in it. It just looks like scrambled egg and bacon. <laughs> just like Game Newell has the inability to count to the number three, Gordon Ramsay has an inability to melt cheese. Guys, this is a this is gonna be a low cheese pull stream, so I'm gonna need I'm gonna need all the support I can get. Uh, without further ado, let's watch the sexy British chef himself <laughs> try to redeem, try to redeem himself. Are you guys ready? All right, no fucking around. Let's go. Welcome to my redemption cook-off. I'll tell you what. Uh, redemption. Let's see. Because a few years back, I was in Tasmania making the most extraordinary grilled cheese. Yeah, an extraordinary it was. Look at that. Peaceful. Now I was up against it. Didn't have much time, not making any complaints. Not making, you're making excuses. Now, in front of my amazing audience, I'm going to show you. Bunch of pity clapping. So I've got some great Italian country bread. In between. Okay, Italian country bread. Let's let's see this. I've got some amazing mushrooms. Brace. Mushrooms. Short rib. I'm going to make an amazing. Slow down. Amazing little jalapeno jam. Start off with. He just when he said jam 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 now when i say i've taken flack you have no idea the amount of complaints i've had globally about this grilled cheese okay yeah all right yeah some self-awareness now we are back with a vengeance okay we'll we'll be the judge of that mr gormsey okay and let's get some color on those mushrooms no color no flavor He's already overcomplicating this because he's putting mushrooms and fucking ribeye in a grilled cheese? Just bread and cheese! That's it! Uh... Nice hot pan, mushrooms in, and lay them flat in the pan so we get that really nice color on there. Now, this jam, this is a jalapeno and sort of tomato jam. He's making a jam too! This is no longer grilled cheese, this is just a sandwich. He makes a mean sandwich, but it's not a grilled cheese. He makes the runny eggs too. He makes the mucusy eggs, not the firm ones. Yeah, snot rocket eggs. Ew! And then inside this jam, just a little pinch of sugar. In we go. Now, the ginger. When someone, uh, when, when someone thinks of a grilled cheese sandwich, they think, you know, they think, you know, nice white bread, maybe some uh, wheat, whatever you can grab at the grocery store in the bread aisle. You know, some shredder slices, some American cheese. It's, pre it's pretty, pretty vanilla shit. Another thing that they, uh, they think of absolutely is a jalapeno jam. Another thing they think of when they think of grilled cheese, ribeye steak. Who thinks of ribeye steak when making a grilled cheese, Gormzy? A little touch of spice inside that jam. This is already going to be too complex for the normal palate. This is a unique sandwich because in the <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be a unique sandwich. Absolutely. That's the first right thing you've said. When you're doing grilled cheese, you don't do unique. But I guess, you know, that that's kind of his shtick, really. He's got to make everything overly complex. But when you start adding things into a grilled cheese, that's when the whole operation begins to fall apart. No, the problem, Jax, it's not gonna be like goo. It's gonna be too much stuff in there for the cheese to melt properly. Beautiful. Get them. Oh, oh, he said it. Beautiful. Beautifully. Oh. Should I bring back the beautiful counter? Um, we watched the uh, original one, the original uh, grilled cheese anti-meltdown, and I had a beautiful counter up. I need to bring the beautiful counter back. It was overjoyed that uh, that uh, sent me the video originally. 
and uh, open my eyes to Gormzy back at his old shenanigans, his old uh, cheese pool shenanigans. Beautiful counter 2.0. <laughs> Maybe someday you'll figure out how to melt cheese. Yeah, I'll, I'll hold my breath for that one, Sam. Okay, so what was that? That was two already, right? Okay, lamb sauce grilled cheese sandwich, dude. He's hitting the he's hitting the lamb sauce too hard. Where's the lamb sauce? We need the water to come out of that beautiful mushroom. Oh no, we're already three beautifuls in in the last uh, eight seconds. Now for the center. This is my braised short rib. Okay. Why short rib in a grilled cheese again? I didn't mean to hit that. I was stimming. Sorry. Where was I before I got distracted by Gordon Ramsay's toilet going off? Because this is going to be going off a lot if he eats the sandwich with all the jalapenos and shit in it. Slice the short rib down. Listen, you can only put so much on a grilled cheese and it still be called a grilled cheese. Like, you can put a little onion in it, put a little bell pepper in it, grill that up real nice. But when you start throwing in a, a jalapeno jam and then start, and then you pull out short rib, that just, you, you're just turning it into, a, what would you call it? Like, not a panini sandwich because you'd have to like use that like a panini press, but like just a grilled sandwich i know i'm kind of all over the place but like i'm confused this is even more complex than the last one guys now that i'm thinking about it well because what what all did he use he used bread he used romano with pepperberry and asiago cheese then he topped that off with some kimchi now he's pulling out all the stops he's pulling out jalapeno jam he's pulling out chutney he's pulling out he's pulling out prime rib Tom brady i hope you're watching i'll see why? Stop it, Tom. Come on. You're going to make a grilled cheese? I think Nick made it. Tom Brady. Come on. Ready? Dude, okay. All right, Gormzy. I'm on your side. Tom Brady's a weirdo. He kisses his son on the mouth. I'm on your side. Thank you. What do I get? There you know, Jack. That was like a peck. Quarterback, Jack. Not Cam his Newton. dad. Cam Newton. Mm. Chutney coming together. Listen. Make my chutney come together. And look at these mushrooms. Beautiful. Drain off. Uh, and out. Beautiful. Now. Oh <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> There's so much. Beautiful. Oh, that's that's his crutch word. Lather with mayonnaise. Oh, he used butter the first time. Now he's using mayo. Because I've heard that is a uh, a strategy for making grilled cheese. Is sometimes you do you can't use mayo. I've done it before, but I've always burned it. Rapid fire. Beautiful round. Yeah, he's literally going. Peaceful. Just get your press and lightly press down. And that okay, so he's toasting the bread. That's the beauty of these pans. How we lovely. The beauty. Does that count? Okay. Debate. He said beauty, not beautiful. Does that count? I need. I need to know. I'm. I'm on the side of no. I'm on the side of he said beauty. No. Okay. Beautifully caramelized. Beautiful. Oh! Peaceful. They have similar meaning. You have a good point, but it's got to have the whole thing. It can be beautifully. I think it can be beautifully, but not beauty. Don't forget to season the bread, okay? Both sides. Listen, season my bread. That's what we want. Beautiful color. And then on the... Peaceful. I've got my Gria, my cheddar, and Taleggio. Three great cheeses. Okay, so he's literally doing like a like a beef and cheddar sandwich. That's got to beautifully melt. Ah! Thing up. He cuts out the part where he burned it. Are you for real, dog? Really? Wait a minute. Did I miss one? Wait, that one. Layering up beautifully. Did I get that one? I can't remember if I did or not. Ah. Uh. A generous sprinkling of the Gria cheese, both sides. Don't make it too thick, or it's or it's gonna insulate. Each layer, absolutely crucial to season. And then from there, take your short rib. Short rib sits on top again. Short rib, cheese, and then we're gonna go for that beautiful chutney. Oh my god. He's already outdoing his first tally of 10 in the first video. <laughs> Jalapeno chutney, and that just lifts the beef up beautifully. Oh, more Gormzy. Oh, oh, more Gormzy. That jalapeno chutney, not gonna lie, looks fire. That does look pretty damn good. I'd, I'd smash. For my chutney. Oh my goodness me. And then. 
<laughs> the way he said, oh my goodness me. Sounds like he just walked in on someone like blowing chunks out of their ass after eating one of his sandwiches. Like the whole wall behind them's covered in shit. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> this is a grilled cheese, by the way. No, it's not. You toasted the bread. That's it. That's all you did. Press that down and we pray, right? That goes in. Uh. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> that is not gonna melt. That is not gonna melt. It is not gonna melt. You already toast the bread. Touch of butter. Oh, it's not and gonna melt. In. Now, we take our press and we push down. Okay, yeah, it's like a panini press, like panini sandwich. You're pressing it down. Very quickly, four minutes in the oven at 350 degrees. Wait a minute, what? No, you cheater, you dirty, rotten cheater. Gormzy, how dare you? This is not a grilled cheese anymore. You toasted the bread, toast the bread, you put the cheese on, you put the chutney on, you put the, you put the fucking you know, anal steak on. Then you put it in the oven? You dirty, rotten little cheater, you. Oh, oh you dirty <laughs> cheater. You guys excited? No, I'm not excited anymore. I'm livid. The moment of truth. Here we go. Oh my goodness me. That is not a grilled cheese. That you baked that bitch. You cheating British bastard. You took the easy way out. You pansy. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> it's literally, no, now, it's, now it literally sounds like he's having to clean up the bathroom after someone shat all over the wall. Oh my <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, goodbye cheese, it all melted off. Yeah, I crushed it at the bottom. I crushed it at the bottom. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> and here we are. A beautiful. Oh, yeah, yeah, just fit. Yeah, just finish me off. Oh, I am so close, Gormzy. One more time. Amazing. There's not even that much cheese pull in the middle. Still, like there's one little string. <laughs> That's it. What's he gonna make next? <laughs> A grilled shit sandwich. Dude, he might as well just shit in the sandwich now because it's no longer grilled cheese. I don't even know what it is. That is not a grilled cheese sandwich. Grilled cheese with sure rib. You liar. He finally got one string of cheese pull after all this time. This is all he could achieve. Finally, my cheese has melted. <laughs> no, Gordon, you do not get to claim victory. This is not a redemption. Gormzy, this is far from a redemption. You took the you took the coward's way out. Got better pe cheese pull off the short rib and chutney. This wasn't even really all that bougie of cheese. I mean, he used a, I think he used like an aged cheddar. It's definitely not as bougie as like Asiago and Romano with pepperberry. I don't even where the hell. But you do not get to take this victory lab, Gormzy. Listen, Chad, this is what you gotta realize. At least with the first sandwich, it might have not had cheese pull, but he grilled it at least. All he used was the skillet. Technically, it was a grilled sandwich, right? It looked depressed, was depressed, but at least, at the very least, it was grilled. This, however, he toasted the bread in the pan, yeah. But then he threw all the stuff together, put it back in the pan, and then put the pan in the oven, right? The first one was organic. The first one, it, 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 it was a human being that was born out of a vagina. At least it was born naturally. This thing was made in a mother test tube. Why? You do not get the victory lap here, Gormzy. You, you, you do not. Until I see you pull out some bread and some cheese and successfully grill it on a skillet and melt the cheese you do not get to claim victory and you have 12 beautifuls you beat your other score by two gordon ramsay everyone i will forever love this man's inability to just make a grilled cheese ramsay intentionally fucks up a grilled cheese again to make sure the meme continues to live on man knows how to internet gordon ramsay is the only man on the planet who needs five separate pans to make a grilled cheese sandwich that's a good looking short rib sandwich not a grilled yeah it's, it's just a short rib sandwich <laughs> gordon
Aaron is now zero to two versus grilled cheese. I think he's trolling us thinking he'll ever make a grill actual grilled cheese. I will pray for anyone on Hell's Kitchen to make a real grilled cheese for Gordon as they're saying. <laughs> it's your dish, please. Someone do it. Please stick your neck out for everyone else and just do it.